Hey, hey, why are you so scared? So Brock Bowers hit the Trump dance after scoring a touchdown yesterday. And what's funny is that when asked about it, the Raiders ended his media session. They said no more questions. They took him out as fast as possible. And since then, the Raiders have done their best to scrub his media session from existence. You can find the video on their YouTube page like you typically can. Bowers said that he hit the dance because he's seen everyone do it. He likes watching UFC. They do it. The thing I keep coming back to is that these guys don't stand on business, Ooh. right? Like Nick Bosa went out of his way to interrupt a national TV interview, which he was not a part of, to show off his MAGA hat. After the game, the number one question everyone had was, what's the deal with that? He said, I'm not going to talk about it, but I think it's important. You're not going to talk about it, but you think it's important enough to do this? What is so difficult about explaining yourself? Just say, I love Trump. Here's why. Same mm. with Brock Bowers. You think he's clueless about this dance? I don't, and the Raiders don't, and that's why they shut down questions. Because the Raiders don't want him to say, yes, I love Trump. Here's why. This contrasts with Colin Kaepernick. Think what you want about him. They asked him why he was doing certain things. They asked him why he thought certain things. He explained it. He didn't kneel for the anthem and then say, I'm not going to talk about it, but I think it's important. If you want to make a statement like this, I have no problem. Just explain why, right? But don't hide and run and try to back out of it because it's cowardly. Just say you love Trump, mm. explain why, and we'll all move on. There goes that sound again. Damn. Whoever you are, you killed that. Mm. Let's talk through this. Why are you so scared? Huh? When you're not going with the mainstream, it ain't a dream. It's a nightmare. At least that's how they think. That's how scared they are. <sighs> how many times you guys had to go against the grain? Whether it's in the classroom, on the playground, at work. How about in front of the whole world? I can't let these guys hide behind action, speak louder than words. So here's my hat. My hat says, be greater than your greatest excuse. Now, what does that mean, Marcellus? Oh, it's important, but I can't tell you. <laughs> can't let you hide behind doing the rock'em, sock'em, Trump dance, and then, yo, what's up? You a Trump supporter? Ah. Now, I ain't stupid. I know why they don't say anything, because the pressures are all around them, up top, all the way down. People in the locker room. Man, don't be saying that, dog. Keep that to yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's the path of most resistance if you go out there and say what you're doing and what you're really feeling. There's also people on top of him that write that check, that help give that check, that help make the decisions that he gets that check, that sent there with sensibilities like, oh, you better not. I dare you. Why? Because the money controls it all. And why? The money is controlled in perception by liberalism. Oh, yeah. Act like. I didn't say really be like. But act like everybody counts. Everybody matters. And when that's a, when that's a problem, when everybody doesn't matter, let's pick out the most underserved, underrepresented minority groups. You want to know why? Because chances are you can bet on them. And guess what? They probably still don't make it. Y'all catch that one? I'm trying to tell y'all how the game goes. So pick any distant franchise, anybody that's sitting there on the outside looking in. Hey, come on and play. Yeah, you can share my ball. Yeah, catch it. Still my So, you're in an environment where you just can't express what you really feel. Remember the song, 10 toes down, standing on business. How about no toes down? Because if you put your feet down trying to stomp and say that, watch what happened to you. We've heard too many examples. Let me give, let me give y'all some. <sighs> When I was at Fox and BLM was at its height, and y'all know, if you rock with me, you know I read their mission statement online. This is what's crazy. I ain't say anything about them in a negative way. I let them say it because <laughs> I read their mission statement. I said, wait a minute. This ain't for my life as no black person. This is for breaking up my family and then letting it turn into something else. Mm -hmm. 
but I'll let y'all say it instead of me. So I just read their mission statement. Did I get backlash from upstairs? Nope. Did I get backlash from any of the people I work with? Nope. And you know what? That lets me know I got backlash. Because <laughs> I've gotten backlash before when I've been on the air with a co-host and we said the wrong thing about a team or a player. I mean, something that ain't even a misdemeanor. They like, we need y'all to come here and talk. Okay, so you really think Patrick Mahomes is not that good right now. <laughs> and you really do. But y'all need to make sure you guys give the audience what they want, which is camaraderie. Still stay on the same page together. Why are we here? We disagree. Stop reading my mannerisms like that. When I get mad, I do. Look at my face right now. Ice Cube. <laughs> but that, they didn't say a word. And mark my word, this is what they said upstairs. I guarantee they said this. Oh, Wiley doing too much. He know, he know where this is flowing. He know where the stream goes. He knows we over here shaking hands and pandering. Wiley doing too much. Oh, well, let it be done. Because <laughs> you, you can't come to me and say, uh, I don't want you to meet to read a mission statement of a group that we talked about because it makes them look bad. I was like, no, 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 because you know I'm too smart for that. So just letting you guys know there are pressures around you. But that pressure exists, too, before you put the hat on. That pressure exists, too, before you do your dance. If you're going to do it, let's get it done. Stand on ten toes down like John Bones Jones did if you're going to do it. But they all don't do it. And I wonder why. Now I'm about to give y'all somebody that I respect, that I know, that I think really gives you straight dope. He stays out the way most of the time, but every time he opens his mouth in this political space, social space, oh, he going to say something. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Denzel Washington is sharing his thoughts on the current political landscape in the United States. Mm. The two-time Oscar-winning actor who stars in Ridley Scott's upcoming Gladiator 2. Y'all want to see that? Y'all seen it yet? It broke some records over, overseas already. Get that. Was recently asked about the 2024 presidential election where Donald Trump defeated Kamala Harris earlier this month. During his interview with the Sunday Times, Washington said, it's all politics, all promises unkept. Mm. And now with the information age the way it is, if anything, left, right, whatever had better learn how to use those tools to manipulate the people. There was a great line in the first movie I did, 1981's carbon copy, power to the people. Yeah, they had it once. It was called the Stone Age. Damn. The information. See, this is what we were talking about, what was it, a couple days ago. I can't be everywhere. You can't either. There's so much trust in this world, even if you're not trusting or even trustworthy. People trust. And I always do the trust test. You ever do this trust test? On a, on a highway or, or big street. Whatever it could be, with no center divider. The key is no center divider. And you're in the left lane, which is typically the fast lane. And they're in the left lane, which is typically the fast lane. And y'all doing this. There is nothing between life and death but a yellow line and a little black. That is called trust. I am trusting, because I am going 67 miles an hour. In the 45. Let me stop. 55. 35. Um, I'm flying. You flying. And what keeps us in order, in sequence, is a yellow piece of line that's stripped between us? Nah. It's deeper than that, boy. It's trust. So in this world with information, we trust it. We innately trust it. Even if you are not trust think even if you're distrustful you don't know every you want to know how you trust hit your phone what's the weather we about to go to Cabo what's the weather in Cabo you don't know that you trust it there's so many ways where no matter how much you trust this world you have to trust it to exist in it oh you don't believe me go back to the stone age <laughs> Because everything that was, was what they saw. That's how they looked at life. Now we in a whole different animal. 
You could be right here. My feet are planted in Los Angeles right now, and my mind is already gone. I'm already in Vegas. Come on. You could be at that Burbank airport sitting there drinking that beer. Woo, I'm in Vegas. Trusting how it's going to be. All manipulation, as Denzel said, terms of the politics. Because we have to trust. Who? Raise your hand last time you read a bill. Lay, raise your hand last time you read some legislation. Fully. Like I read the damn BLM mission statement. Fully. And that was short. Because if it was long, I, I would have just been like, all right, yeah, yeah, they care about black people. <laughs> I would have just gave up. Come on, y'all. I know people that you can write them a text message. And if it is longer than the page on a screen, if they got to do this, oh, they out. They just going to write back. I was like, dog, did you read the end of it? What are the tickets? At the end, the link. <laughs> you know. Oh, oh, my bad, homie. We all get manipulated. He continued, we're all slaves to information now. We really are. We're all slaves. So whatever you feel about the leaders, like this guy's crazy or the other one is sane, you'd better realize you're being manipulated by both sides, period. Before adding, yeah, so go to the movies. The star has previously been open about promo about urging people to quote open our eyes and hold elected officials in office accountable he told the hollywood reporter in 2017 i think we as americans need to unite and to hold all of our elected officials feet to the fire as it relates to working together during which trump was serving his yeah. first term as president he added we need to demand that they work together through our vote and that they work together to come up with solutions for more on the story head to thr.com and for the latest entertainment news all right, all right stop trying to promote me there Okay, now y'all know. He said we need to work together for solutions. As Thomas Sowell would say, we don't need to work together for solutions, just trade-offs, because there are no solutions. I hear that. I hear you, Thomas Sowell. I also hear the fact that when Denzel Washington looks at it and says we're all being manipulated, we're all slaves, whew, it's fatiguing to just talk in social discourse right now, public discourse, because everybody got a side. Won't you, why does world pick sides? I wish it was round. Oh, it is. <laughs> well, stop picking a side. Do you know that this world is round? Wait, you go over here, you end up over there. You'll go over there, you end up over here. Shut it. Please shut it. Because it's wild out here in these streets right now when um, people want you to just pick. Simple as that. Pick. They don't care about anything else, but you pick. And once you pick, I judge. And once you judge, then I know who you are. Now, the thing I don't like is when we say we need to hold our elected officials accountable. Because I always say, well, how about we be accountable? This country would run, run way smoother if we were more accountable than some damn elected official. Do y'all know any elected officials? I do. I know you do. Man, look, they, that dude put on his suit like anybody else. He a normal ass dude trying to get home and get a Heineken. <laughs> trying to holler at the honey. <laughs> trying to say, kids, go to bed. It's on us. It is on us. On us. On us is on us. O-N-U-S is on us. And we going to get there. Picking a side. Mad. Mad somebody because they do support and Trump dance. Mad at somebody because they got the MAGA hat. Mad at somebody because they want to peacefully protest. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, people were mad at Colin Kaepernick. Well, Colin Kaepernick, nobody was mad at him when he peacefully protested. People start getting mad at him when he start explaining his peaceful protest. Like, wait a minute. Them socks got to, wait a minute. That shirt, that got, wait a minute. What's your, what's your plan? What's your, like, and don't get me started. Cause if I, if, if all things fail, I got a few things in my back pocket that will definitely go viral. Like look out Cat Williams interview. <laughs> I got one on Colin Kaepernick and who, who told me knows him and he knows it. I got one and I ain't gonna never go there cause it ain't worth it. And I got one on somebody super famous that lives a life that they ain't really living. What you mean, Wiley? I ain't built like that. I don't blow people's spots up. But if he ever blows mine up, wah, wah! 
<laughs> light his ass up. Because I got messages <laughs> that he used to send me that he don't sound like ever. That's just basically the friend who's like, hey, dog, guess what? Oh, blah, 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 blah. And then go in here, hey, how are you? Oh, never. I would never. Yes, you would. Yes, you do. Yes, you are. But that's how the game goes, man. So we all get manipulated. We all get it. Look, I'm going to manipulate you right now. Y'all don't believe me? Watch. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Watch this. I got on biker shorts. <laughs> Y'all probably thought I had on a hoodie, a Buster Raider hat, T-shirt, and khakis. Nah, I got on biker shorts and some da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-